All right, Ken, thank you so much. Well, as we inch closer to the new legislative session here in Tennessee, lawmakers can continue to file new bills, and one new piece of legislation affects transgender youth going into the system. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien explores the bill after speaking with lawmakers on both sides and a transgender woman. Informally titled the Youth Health Protection Act, a new piece of legislation comes on the heels of Senate Bill 1, both affecting children's transgender care. It is there in case someone tries to uh, alter the Senate Bill 1 in any way to weaken what it needs to do on behalf of the minor children in the state of Tennessee. The Tennessee transgender activists say legislators have filed these bills without consulting the people they actually affect. Those are fears that are built without any interaction with us. There's no conversation with us. Darren Johnson is part of the transgender community, pushing to be accepted by all. They want to be able to use the bathroom and play sports and go to school and learn about themselves and be able to go to the doctor. The bill is very similar to Senate Bill 1, but it has two important additions. It protects whistleblowers who report someone providing children's transgender therapy, and it explicitly says state funds cannot be used for gender transition therapy. That bill essentially is a bill that was passed in North Carolina and portions of the bill, the portions that passed um, uh, legal muster out of the Arkansas bill. Most Republicans have come out in support of children's transgender restrictions. Most Democrats are on the other side. There are hundreds of real problems facing families right now. Housing affordability, inflation, school funding, access to health care, child care. But instead of solving real problems, bills like this are attacking already marginalized families. Johnson made a plea to legislators to at least consider bringing in the people who this bill would affect. One of the things that would be most helpful is if one of these legislators filing one of these bills would just take the time to sit down with a trans youth and hear what it is to have lived their experience. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. Now, the next step for this bill is to go to the General Assembly when session starts in January. We'll be following it.